Lately, I have been at a loss for words with how overkill, incompetent, ignorant, and just downright defiant of true American pride our athletes are. By true American pride, I mean actually standing in attention, hand over their hearts over the, for the flag. Instead, many of them are either locking arms, kneeling, or just turning their backs. Our people are the ones that pay for you ass mongers to go over to Japan and compete in the Olympics this year. Once again, our athletes make complete fucking fools themselves by playing political activists disguised as athletes. This time, it was the women's soccer team. One of the best in the world, and they fuck it up against Sweden because they're in more uber protest mode. Look at me, I'm a social justice warrior. Here, I fight for social rights. Bullshit! You bitches are fighting for fascism at that point. You're representing fascism, you bitch-ass turds. And I can say the same for the women, men and women's basketball squads that are playing in the land of the rising sun. Nobody in America wants this shit anymore. It's why I have blasted people like Bob Manfred, David Stern, Roger Goodell. You were even warned by the International Olympic Committee not to protest, and you shitheads did it anyway. If even the, you even disregard the IOC, you guys don't even deserve to be in J Japan this year or wherever they're going to be in three years. Keep in mind, due to the bullshit lockdowns, they didn't couldn't have the 2020 Olympics this year, last year because a certain su certain cabal let the virus out. But that's not here or there, I mean, and spread fear across the planet. But that's not here and there. Let's get back on track here. My point is... This whole protesting mantra crap, has, protesting patriotism crap, has got to stop. Even if it means we have to pick these people off one by one... And kill them. I don't want to get to that point. But cutting their funds off. And putting them through a rehabilitation. Where they'll be nationalist. Instead of fascist. Would be be a good alternative. If, to get them to stop. Putting their heads up their asses. For people who don't even. Care for their. For the event. For the sports they play. That's the problem with these dipshits. They're catering to a fan base that doesn't even give a rat's ass about, about their content. This is the same thing with films. This is the same thing with television shows. This is the same thing with video game companies who cater to these non-player con NPC, Twitter Puritan, shit-faced, social fascist fuckwads who all who are such hypocrites, who all deserve a place in the depths of hell, for all I care. I mean, yeah, I may come off as a rude, loud, obnoxious, balls to the wall, wall, wall super patriot, yeah, with his nose to the grindstone to a, border, to a point of borderline fanaticism, but you know what the difference is between me and those Twitter Puritan shit faces and these SFW politicians, movie stars, TV stars, game designers, and athletes is? At least I'm fucking straight about what I have to say. In the sense that at least I'm honest with what I've got to let out and get off my chest. At least I'm honest. <sighs> uh, 
about what needs to be said. <sighs> Unlike many American celebrities and the media we see today, at least I'm fucking honest about it. You may not like what I gotta say. And most people don't want to hear what I've gotta say. But truth and ideals are more, but the truth, ideals may be more powerful than bullets, but the truth is more powerful than both. Even if many can misconstrue and twist the truth to fit their own ends. When the real truth comes out, it's more powerful than an ideal and much more powerful than bullets. Leave a comment, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. Mets2128 signing out. Goodbye. Good fucking night. Bang.